Welcome to Vlogtober, day five. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mommy. <laughs> what are we eating for breakfast? Some spongy bread with tree blood on it. <laughs> hey, Mama. Hi, Shy Shy. What does that translate to exactly? Pancakes and syrup. Oh, okay. Spongy bread with tree blood. Love Mama. it. Yep. Do you need a napkin? Okay. Mm. A nice beautiful fall day. Wind's blowing. It's not too hot, not too cold. It's perfect. Taking Elsa for her daily walk. Today we are headed to Abraham Lincoln's birthplace national historic site. Should be pretty fun, full of learning and excitement, and hopefully not a lot of hiking because I'm still tired from yesterday. And, uh, Sissy's back here working on her book. We printed it out online, so she's getting it start. So yeah, chasing that junior ranger badge. Should be a good day. Now you're in Kentucky when you pass this. Looks like we're out in Amish country a little bit. Yeah. Farm country. Lots and lots out, of open fields. Out in the middle of nowhere, Kentucky. <laughs> Little ones are playing. Daddy's helping Sissy with her Junior Ranger book. We're doing our Junior Ranger book. Let's get our Junior Ranger badge. Bubba is not thrilled. <laughs> We got more stairs. Thought we were gonna be done after yesterday with stairs. I know. Apparently not. That's the cabin, huh? It's pretty cool. Look at that, they're being cute. They just threw a fit in the memorial and threw rocks everywhere. Yeah, pretty much. Now they're cute. It's a spring, huh? It looks like That's pretty cool, huh? Just finished up at uh, Abe Lincoln's birthplace. We're now about to head to Arrowhead Barbecue, which has been rated by Kentucky Living as the best barbecue in the state. So, ready to eat. we'll Baby. judge that. <laughs> we'll judge that. And yes, I'm definitely ready to eat. I can always go for some barbecue. So, we don't typically do the Junior Ranger program with the little kids, just because they're so young. But we decided that this place was so small and the lady was being so nice that we went ahead and we all did the Junior Ranger program and got this really nice metal Junior Ranger badge. Which means they're fancy. Yes, they're fancy. Fancy. Because this is the one Charlie got yesterday and it's nice but it's plastic. But you can tell the difference. Anywho, I'm officially a mom ranger. Yes! And now Cheyenne and Chase are officially Junior Rangers too. At Abe Lincoln's birthplace. Yes. So again, the 
place is very small and we were in they had like a line they were not letting very many people into the main visitor center area i think i guess covid you know when they had a film and all that inside but we didn't go inside because our kids are being crazy today so we did the short tour and now we're done and we're going to eat some really good arrowhead barbecue it's a really good barbecue this place doesn't really look open, babe. I'm just I'm sorry to disappoint you. But, uh, if this is not open, I'm gonna be sad. You might want to start I'm being pretty, sad. Pretty sure it's open. Are you sure? I don't know. Huh. I mean, the open sign is not lit up, so. Drive through only. That sucks. Um, abandoned ship. So now that I've stopped crying because barbecue is a fail, we're gonna try a Mexican restaurant that has four and a half star ratings here. I was so disappointed. That barbecue place has 200 and something five star ratings. Like nothing but five stars. So I'm assuming it's probably really good and we'll just have to remember it for next time. Uh, yeah, so. We're gonna go try this Mexican restaurant called Little Mexico, I believe it was called. Sounds right. So, Little Mexico, here we come. It's good. Well, we made it to the Mexican restaurant. We are all enjoying some chips and queso and uh, goldfish. No, sir. <laughs> and Chase is just playing in the salsa, but he's our picky eater. He only eats goldfish. How's your food? Oh my gosh, it's so good. You got some pollo loco? Yes. Yeah, my favorite thing from Mexican And you got some goldfish, buddy. So we just got done eating at Mexican restaurants. Little Mexico. Little Mexico, yep, and it was great. Uh, we all had Pollo Loco, which was awesome. So good, very it, delicious. They did a great job on it. Uh, well, we didn't all have that. Chase had goldfish. Oh yeah, Chase ate, Chase ate goldfish. He's our picky eater. <laughs> but um, then we finished it off with churros and ice cream, which was, was amazing. Really good. As well, Chase did partake in that. But, I know, he had the whip. That's true. All he ate was the whipped cream. <laughs> uh, highly recommended if you are ever in the Abe Lincoln Birthplace area, Little Mexico. Now we are heading back to Jellystone, hopefully for an evening of relaxation. I'm so tired. My body hurts. And I'm just happy. Okay, two minutes ago, you were talking about wanting to go play phone ball or whatever that shooting thing was. Okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe relaxation is a little bit. <laughs> relax tonight. Yeah, we'll relax. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We're trying to play foam ball. This is gonna fit in there. Yay. <laughs> All right. We're so ready for foam ball. Yeah. I mean, yay. <laughs> and here are the little ones with no guns. Dun dun dun. Here they go. Here, Shy Shy, bring me a ball. Load me up, load me up. Good job, good job. Okay, let's go get daddy. Oh, I almost got a headshot. <laughs> oh, gotcha, bud. Go, Bubba, go! 
Come on, Chase, jump. The big one's a lot bouncier. Mommy's gonna break an ankle. Again. Again. All right, do a backflip. <laughs> Here we go. Daddy's waiting for you. That's your best bet for Shy? Uh, I don't know. Probably not, but. Alright, Daddy Cam. Go, Shy Shy! <laughs> Chase his legs. I don't go. High five, high five! Woo! Coming in hot. <laughs> Doesn't stop very well. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of fun. We just got Chase has got dirt all over his face that mommy is getting off with my sweater. Thank you, mommy. You're welcome. <laughs> it was an emergency. That was a blast. We just went to the jump balloons, jump pillows and the go-karts pedal the carts pedal carts yeah and uh kids had a blast it's so it, hot <laughs> it is it is the but it uh, was a lot of fun it, it was before that we did the foam foam ball foam ball foam paintball things that was a blast too it sucks because you can only load one ball at a time but it made you think about your shots which was cool yeah but we've had a lot of fun today. I think we're probably gonna wrap the day up with some laundry, some and dinner. Quick disclaimer, we're in the campsite going five miles an hour. That's why Chase is sitting in my lap. Oh yeah, we're we are definitely not on public roads. We're in the campground. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I think we're gonna end the night with uh, some laundry and some dinner and some sleep. Because tomorrow we pack up and move campgrounds. Move about three hours over south. to southwest. Yeah. We're heading to Piney Campground in Tennessee at uh, Land Between the Lakes, so it should be fun. We're just getting ready to do some laundry here. Filling up a five gallon bucket to use in our washing machine. Start with our clothes, add a little bit of soap, and then we pour our water in and get her going. And this is what it looks like on the inside when it's washing. You can see, it definitely does a good job of getting all that dirt out. Let's see how nasty that water looks. Not gonna lie, this is the life. Kids are inside playing. I'm enjoying this, relaxing. But David stands over there and does all the laundry. This would never happen in our Sticks and Bricks house. Did you just it's say pretty the awesome. word Sticks and Bricks? I did. I hate that phrase. This it's would so never ridiculous. happen in our normal house. It's so annoying. It drives me crazy. You're Maybe annoying. I'm crazy. I don't know. What do you I'm want to call it? I'm sitting here doing laundry, drinking a LaCroix. So. Who's the crazy one? Maybe I am crazy. So we've had this these clothes spinning for one minute. I mean, it's <laughs> dry to the touch. I mean, it's a, it's a little damp, but I mean, 10 minutes out in the sun and it'll be dry. One of the nice things about this drying rack versus a clothesline is it doesn't take up a whole lot of space and we can fit two full loads of laundry. Well, two and a half, almost three full loads of laundry on the drying rack. Reagan's in here folding Finishing some laundry. Some laundry. Yep. With my lovely and helper. Cheyenne's over here helping mess everything up. But she's trying, right? You help her mommy out? She's trying to put everything Is that your dress? Thanks, babe. You're welcome. 